Good afternoon. It is time for the new Super Sound Showcase sponsored by Culture Fix. I'm your host, Robert Hodge, and today I am joined by a really talented trio of ladies. They are called the True Tone Honeys, and you are going to love their music. It's reminiscent of the Andrews Sisters, the Boswell Sisters, and some of the hubba hubba music of the 40s. It's a cappella primarily, but they have brought a special guest instrumentalist with them for two of their songs today. And we are excited to expand the verses of this show uh, with the first of its kind appearance. So, ladies, welcome to WMBG. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Tone Honeys is made up of Jeanette and Caroline and Megan, and we are thrilled to experience this, this new kind of music. How did this group come to be? <laughs> That's a funny story. Who wants to feel that? <laughs> <laughs> well, we all met in college. We all went to Christopher Newport University and started singing together then. We were all in chamber choir together. And it's funny that we actually stood in the same formation in chamber choir really? that we stand in today. So we've been used to singing exactly in this order for many years now. Okay, so, so what happens if I were to like mix you up? Will it <laughs> oh fall God. apart? Who knows? Yeah, we, might explode. Probably. we might explode. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But we're lucky enough to, um, we are working with the members of 504 Supreme, right. um, which is our other jazz band, and, and have our boys backing us for, for all of our shows. Okay. So mm -hmm. we are um, a, a bit lonely in here today because we can't, we just can't fit everybody uh, in here. But if people do come, they will hear the whole shebang oh, yeah. and okay. be transported mm -hmm. into another time of jazz and swing and it's it's just a party every yeah. single time it's great. nice nice and all three of you um well caroline i know you have three bands that you perform in are, are, are both of these ladies involved in the other projects or do you all have other side projects what how, how do you well how do you fit together megan you want to talk about your yeah so i actually am studying to become a music therapist okay. um so that's my other gig at the moment um uh -huh. i'm interning right now i'm about halfway through um right. so that's how i spend my time when i'm not with the honey mm -hmm. and caroline and i actually yeah have another project that we're working mm -hmm. on and trying to pull megan into it if we can <laughs> <laughs> but it's called the american train collective oh nice um and that's a completely separate thing yeah. um separate it's music a, yeah it, it's a it's mm -hmm. a songwriting intensive for folk music where people yeah. we load people on um, trains and take them on on journeys of, of songwriting and then record everything at the end. Nice. Now, if you're one of those people that's also streaming us live on Facebook right now, get a shot of, of Megan's t-shirt. She's wearing a Leonard Bernstein shirt. And of course, you know we have the Bernstein <laughs> at, at 100 show tomorrow night at the Ferguson Center. Uh, that is a Virginia Arts Festival event. And I was complimenting her on the t-shirt and she told me that she's one of the singers in that event tomorrow. So that's exciting. Mm -hmm. I will be there looking forward to that and loving Bernstein's music. So Ooh. that's exciting to, to know that y'all are involved. Um, Caroline, what, what kind of gigs do y'all have coming up? Where can people see this group once they've heard it and they're mesmerized? Where can they find you? Yeah, so um, we have a lot of <laughs> private stuff coming up. Uh, which that doesn't help us. I know, <laughs> but I have to say, if you do need you know, um, a really cool band for a party or a wedding or a you know, funeral or whatever. We've done um, that. Yeah, we, we've done it all. Um, but the next public performance we have uh, to right now is on May 24th, and that is um, at the Hermitage Museum in Norfolk. Okay. And it's it's a, a huge concert. A uh, thousand people are supposed to be there. It's right on the river um, outside, just beautiful. And you just get your tickets at the door, and it's nice and easy, yeah. family-friendly. <coughs> so Cool. Yeah. You know, over the years, this just jumped into my head when you mentioned funerals. Over the years, I've actually sung at many, many funerals on mm -hmm. such occasions. And recently, I sang a new song at, at this funeral, and a little old lady walked up to me, and honest to heaven, she said, you know, that was the most beautiful song I've ever heard. I want you to sing that at my funeral. <laughs> and she looked, she looked a little shocked when I said, well, I'd be happy to. When is it? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Good she got really alarmed. She's yeah. like, I, I don't know. <laughs> so will you let me know, honey. I'll be there. But <laughs> so um, how, how did the repertoire develop? I mean, the, the music that you've selected is very distinctive. How do you choose your songs, and where does the, the music come from? Um, well, most of what we're doing is pretty straight swing. Most of what we're doing is pretty straight swing music. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's really appealing to us because of the social side mm -hmm. of yeah. that. You know, we love, there's nothing we love more than having mm -hmm. dancers mm -hmm. at our shows, people who are not only enjoying listening to the music, but uh, also But are these it. songs that y'all are familiar yeah. with? Are you out looking through old... 
So like, mm -hmm. how, how are you yes. finding your songs? Definitely. So we actually have a whole new slew of songs that um, we're about to bring out into the world right now. And you can yeah. see some Facebook Live posts on our True Tone Honey's Facebook page of us just rehearsing like in our PJs at home, mm -hmm. um, which is completely acapella. And that's really fun, too. So we're, we're doing some new blues stuff. We're doing some new swing stuff um, that we'll bring out. It, it'll be ready this summer. But we're also um, starting to write original music nice uh, we're working on our first original tune right now that miss Jeanette Corey wrote mm -hmm. um, and that's gonna be an acapella tune <coughs> but um, definitely be looking out for for way more mu original music I think that's the direction that we're heading and it'll still me. be in the, the same style of yes music? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay yes. so that'll be interesting to see three very young ladies writing very old music mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. okay well I'll look forward to that that's mm -hmm. kind of fun um, the, the uh, surprise that we have is that they have brought Spencer Burnham, who is going to play the sousaphone, and we have never yet <laughs> featured a sousaphone player on Super Sound Showcase, to my knowledge. And uh, so that's going to be interesting. You will hear their three voices, uh, a cappella on one song and two accompanied by a sousaphone. So I think you are definitely in for a treat. And uh, what, uh, Caroline, tell us a little bit. I know you've been developing some, some teaching opportunities in a workshop. Is, how's that coming along? Is that it's happening? It's great, yeah. Um, so my Not Your Average Voice class for all ages and levels um, is starting. It's a five-week voice class, and it's being held here in Williamsburg at Local Cafe, right um, downtown on Prince oh, nice. George Street. Uh, so that's being held April 17th mm -hmm. to May 15th, every single Tuesday night from 7 to 8 p.m. And we're going to cover all kinds of stuff um, from like how to find your range and like harness your your true voice to um, trying to overcome stage anxiety which is a thing that I had always suffered from and I right. had to learn firsthand how to get over and so all of those tips and tricks and I'm a big yoga and meditation person mm -hmm. so we're gonna incorporate that kind of stuff um, how to harness your <coughs> audience and have stage presence because yeah. that's another thing that's sure. just not normally covered yeah. um, so there are still a few spots left I think there's two spots left so there's the a cap on, on how mm -hmm. it, the class is capped so that everybody gets like mm -hmm. really good how, how many are you time. taking I'm taking 10 okay um, so yeah, so it's going to be a great time. If you're interested, you can go to my website, um, singingwithcaroline.com, and that'll take you straight to all of the details and the application to sign up. All right. Well, we are going to go to a couple of commercials, and we're going to set the microphones in place for these ladies to perform for you. And uh, if you are on the radio, you'll hear the commercials. If you're on Facebook, you're going to get to see all the transition. It's like being a spy in the studio if you stream live <laughs> with us. And then, of course, tomorrow, our professional video that Jacob is shooting today will be up on our website and on YouTube. So you will be able to watch this many times over and uh, become fans of these talented young women, the True Tone Honeys. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, and welcome back to the new Super Sound Showcase. We are sponsored by Culture Fix, and today, if you are just joining us, we have the True Tone Honeys in-house, and uh, they are celebrating their one-year anniversary as a vocal group, mm -hmm. and uh, they have brought with them Spencer Burnham on the sousaphone. So you're going to hear some, <laughs> some really nice, tight vocal harmonies, uh, 1940s-style boogie-woogie jazz and blues, and, and uh, the hubba-hubba music, they used to call it, from mm -hmm. the Andrews Sisters and the Boswell Sisters, those kind of artists that uh, really shaped our American cultural music uh, scene in throughout the, th the 40s and the late 30s. So anyway, they're already bouncing around. They're, they're, I, I don't want to slow down the mojo here. I want to just get out of their way. And, and what are you going to sing first, ladies? We're going to do Oh Johnny. Yep. All right. Well, let's hear Oh Johnny. I can't wait. Cool. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, Johnny, oh, Johnny, how you can love. Oh, Johnny, oh, Johnny, heavens above, you make my sad heart jump with joy. And when you're near, I just can't sit still a minute, I'm so. Oh, Johnny, oh, Johnny, please tell me, dear, what makes me love you so? Oh, Johnny, oh, ba-da-da-da, ba-da-da-da-da-da, ba-da-da-da, 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 ba-
Hold your Johnny Johnny, heavens up above, way above. You make my sad heart jump with joy. And when you're near, I just can't sit still another minute. Oh, Johnny, hold your Johnny Johnny, please tell me, dear, what makes me love you so? You are handsome, it is true. And when I look at you, I just adore Johnny. And you know, I gotta tell you, as a musician, I recognize the fact that that not only took a lot of work in rehearsal, but your articulation is so perfect, your phrasing so beautiful, and you're just so tight as a group. That was just marvelous. And Spencer, you were even over there dancing, young man. I thought I was good. And you are dedicated beyond belief. I saw you holding the music and playing with the other yeah, hand. He's amazing. I'm sorry we didn't know you were going to need a music stand, or we could have brought one of those in here. But uh, that's fun. Did, did they just give you this, this at the last minute? I've, I've played with these played with okay. before, so I'm familiar with the music, but I don't want to mess anything up, so I brought Oh, I see. It's because of the media request today. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, that was a marvelous performance from all four of you. What's next? Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy from Company Oh, that's B. one of everybody's Stay favorites. That ought to be great. <laughs> yeah. All right. Look out, Bette Midler. They're coming for you. I'm just playing something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So we'll just come right in. He was, or one, two, one, yeah. two, three, four, one, two, three. Oh, one, two. He was a famous trumpet man from out Chicago way. He had a boogie style that no one else could play. He was a top man at his craft. But then his number came up and he was gone with a draft. He's in the army now, a blowing reveille. He's the boogie woogie bugle boy of Company B. They made him blow a bugle for his uncle Sam. It really brought him down because he couldn't jam. The captain seemed to understand. Because the next day the cap went out and drafted a band. And now the company jumps when he plays Reveille. He's the boogie woogie bugle boy of Company B. A toot, a toot, a toot, a toot, a toot. He blows an E to the bar. In boogie rhythm, he can't blow a note unless the bass and guitar is playing with him. He makes the company jump when he plays Reveille. He's the boogie woogie bugle boy of Company B. <laughs> and when he played boogie woogie bugle, he was busy as a bee. And when he plays, he makes the company jump a to the bar. He's the boogie woogie bugle boy, a company B. Do 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 liara do liara do do. He blows a knee to the bar. He can blow a note if the bass and guitar is in with him. Indeed. 
Yeah, very nice, Spencer. I love that that brass part, but I did not see the the trumpet solo coming, Megan. Oh, that was lovely. Oh, yes. And you know, I was so impressed because I've seen people do that kind of thing before with their voice, but you were the first one to make me believe you actually had the wah wah thing in the oh, trumpet. Yeah. yeah, that was actually very good. You Thank had you very much. a little bit more well, more technique going than some of those people that try to do that kind of scat imitation. Yeah. You so, <laughs> I like it. That was very nice, very impressive. And uh, I think Bette Midler should be scared. She might be shaking in her pumps today. She'll be like, oh no, they're coming for me. <laughs> All right. So, and now um, another classic uh, tune. You're going to sing Unchained Mel Medley. Mel yes. Melody. Melody. Unchained Melody for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, look out. I think this is going to be a big one. Oh, okay. Sorry, I've got to get the key. Oh. Y'all mm -hmm. didn't bring the pitchfork, huh? We, we didn't, didn't bring our pitchfork! pitchfork. <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> okay. Ooh, let's hold hands. Let's. Sometimes we like to hold hands when we sing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, Absolutely beautiful. And you know, you, you've worked so hard to polish that sound and to have mm -hmm. such dynamics and, and mm -hmm. to, to bring a real musicality to it. That's a, a delight to listen to. And I'm sure my listeners, I'm sure you've been paying attention and, and it's captivating. I think you'll agree. And these are the true tone honeys. Um, 
I hope you will find them. Let's mention also that I know September is a long time away, but you are part of the series in, in mm. Merchant Square, yes. the Summer Breeze. Yeah. When, when are you going to be doing that? September 19th, so we're closing out okay. the Summer Breeze series. Okay, we'll put that on your calendar. I know uh, all of your fans in Williamsburg, especially the new ones you've made here today, they're going to want to make sure that, that they have a, a front row seat. So take your lawn chair down there on September 19th. And if they go to truetonehoneys.com, our, our schedule is, is quickly filling up with mm -hmm. other dates that you can come see Oh, okay. Us. So you can monitor that. Yes. And of course, you can always check in with WMBG. But ladies, thank you. And Spencer, thank you for being here today. This has been a thank fun episode. Thank you. It has indeed been a pleasure to have you here on the new Super Sound Showcase, sponsored by Culture Picks on WMBG. And in that, Ben, uh, you've got me in, in the old music frame of mind. So <laughs> we're going to go out with Grease is the Word from Frankie Valley. Yeah. <laughs> See you next time. Perfect.